Harrison, and today we have Brittany Giacoletto filling in for Christy Arnett. We're here to let you know what's been going on this week in poker. Thank you for tuning in. In two days, Lee Watkinson, a full tilt pro, is set to host a tournament on the site to benefit a cause that hits close to home for him. The Save the Chimps charity tournament on full tilt begins this Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. It is a $5 plus $5 event, and half of the proceeds will go to help build a sanctuary for seven chimpanzees that have never seen the light of day. Watkinson is very involved in rescuing captive chimps that are used in the entertainment industry when they are young and then treated cruelly once they get too big which is the majority of their lives. He actually houses two such chimps here in Las Vegas. And earlier this week, Lizzie went out to meet them and talked to Lee about their plate. They're, they have all the emotions that people do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they have all the capacity for suffering that people do and jealousy and all, all that and loneliness. So when they are caged by themselves in a, a warehouse situation, that's what really... Um, it's heartbreaking, and, and that's what we uh, are trying to aware, raise awareness of and, um, and make sure that there aren't any chimps out there. Or, you know, that's our goal is to make sure there's no chimps that are housed, housed in an you know, inhumane condition because they can, they can suffer just as much as people. The chimps really are very human-like, from their emotions to their features, and the way they are often treated is inexcusable. You can see more of the chimps and Lee's high stakes living video coming up in the next month right here on Card Player TV. Season 7 of the World Poker Tour began today in Europe. The Spanish Championship, which last year attracted 226 entrants and was won by Marcus Lehman, is once again being held at the Casino Barcelona. The final table of this event will not be televised, so we will still have to wait for the WPT to reveal their newest hosts at the Bellagio later this summer. The World Series of Poker Circuit event at Harris New Orleans wrapped up this week, and the champion is Nick Cece. 249 players entered the tournament, and that built a total prize pool of almost $1.2 million. The demolition contractor from Georgia defeated a tough final table that included cash game specialist Gabe Costner, 2007 Borgata Winter Poker Open runner-up Chuck Kelly, and the defending champion of this event, Lou Esposito, to win the title. In addition to the prize money and the ring, he was also awarded a seat into the rapidly approaching World Series of Poker main event. Out in California, the Deep Stack Championship at the Bicycle Casino kicks off this Sunday at 4 p.m. It caps a series of low buy-in Deep Stack tournaments. The entry for this championship is only $335, and the players begin with $10,000 in chips. The bike has guaranteed that the prize pool will be at least $50,000, and if the fields for the earlier tournament in the series are any indication, then the championship should surpass the guarantee. Poker's popularity is still growing all over the world, and today Poker Stars opened a new poker room in Macau. The new room is located in the Grand Waldo Hotel and Casino, and it can accommodate up to 250 players. The grand opening coincided with the Macau Cup, which began with a charity tournament to help raise money for earthquake relief. Poker tournaments with different themes and goals seem to pop up all over these days, but the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas is about to host a very unique event. Continental Airlines is holding a No Limit Hold'em tournament that begins on August 7th, and the entry fee is 50000 of their frequent flyer miles. The top 40 finishers will earn prizes, and the winner will snag an astonishing 21 million frequent flyer miles. The one-pass miles, as Continental calls them, can be used for flights, upgrades, and other benefits. The tournament was conceived as a way to celebrate the 21st anniversary of the one-pass program. Register now on Continental.com. Many online players don't show their faces in brick-and-mortar casinos, not because they doubt their skills, but because they're not old enough to legally play. However, there are a few casinos here in the United States that welcome players at the tender age of 18, and one more just hopped on board. Starting on June 1st, poker players aged 18 to 20 can play poker in the Meskwaki Casino in Iowa. The underage players will have to wear identification bracelets so that the dealers know they can play poker and only poker. That's right, players who are under 21 are still prohibited from playing games where the casino, not the players, provides the jackpot. It was recently revealed to the world that Phil Helmuth, the poker brat, will have his mug appear on cans of Milwaukee's Best Light. The cans will also feature some of Phil's catchphrases, including my personal favorite, I can dodge bullets, baby. If you consistently watch High Sticks Living right here on Card Player TV, then you already know all about this. Phil gave us the exclusive scoop about his limited edition Milwaukee's Best Light cans when we visited his home back in March. If you missed it, go back and check out this episode on Lifestyle Channel. 
And that wraps up This Week in Poker. I'm Lizzie Harrison. And I'm Brittany Giacoletto for Card Player TV. Have a great weekend.